It had all the hallmarks of a Saturday morning cooking show, award-winning chef to boot, but the familiarity belied what was to be an extraordinary culinary experience. With an audience of journalists looking on, the world's first test tube burger went under the cooking and taste test. It passed muster, just. Not quite like meat, but not bad for something grown in a lab out of cow cells. Surprisingly, the surface was quite uh, uh, crunchy. Uh, it was really a bite to do, and uh, that's where most of the flavor was. The inside was juicy, and I, I would say it, it gives you the feeling of a normal meat, um, but the taste wasn't as intense as, uh, as a normal piece. Quietly proud, the scientist turned chef who devoted his work in recent years to producing what some have already dubbed the Frankenburger, cultured beef which he believes will solve some of the world's food and environmental problems. The World Health Organization um, uh, estimates that in 2050, the um, demand for meat is, uh, is appreciably higher than it is right now. And um, we're just not capable with the current methods to produce that type of meat. So we have to come up with alternatives and, and produce more meat with the same resources. But it's been no simple to follow recipe getting here. It's cutting edge science. First stem cells are taken from a cow. They're then incubated in a nutrient broth until they multiply. The cells organize themselves into muscle strips and are attached between anchor points to Velcro. So they're able to flex and contract as they grow. The strips have four ingredients added, breadcrumbs, caramel, red beetroot juice and saffron. They're then minced and added to lab-grown animal fat to form the burger. Taking the bill for producing these so far to over £200,000. But it's not the cost putting some diners off placing an order, but the thought of where lunch has come from. Uh, it's definitely a frightening prospect of meat being made in the lab for me. It's something that I wouldn't dream of eating, I'd be interested in trying it, but I definitely wouldn't order it off the menu. I've got no concerns about it being manufactured in the laboratory, and I'd be interested to taste it. It could be an interesting solution to kind of providing food for loads of people, but uh, I'm not to I'm, I like really fresh food and I'm a little bit wary of it. Still with demand for meat set to double in the next 40 years and most of our agricultural land given over to livestock, in time the science burger may seem more palatable, offering consumers a choice between mass-produced meat and meat produced in the lab. And if you do fancy a taste of the future, you're going to have to be very, very, very patient. Burgers like this one aren't expected to appear on our supermarket shelves for at least a decade. It's hardly what you'd call fast food. Maybe just as well. A taste for this burger may take some time to acquire.